What's going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and we are continuing our 2D tower defense tutorial. Now in this episode we are going to be adding a currency system to our game where we can shoot the enemies and get currency. In the last video we added the ability to be able to actually place turrets however we like and wherever we like but obviously in a traditional tower defense game normally there's some sort of currency where you actually buy the turrets and they you don't just place a billion as many as you want it's also multiple types of turrets so in this one we're going to set up the currency system so for every time we destroy one of these enemies we are going to add a currency to our level manager so let's actually get that set up so first we want to do is open our level manager up in visual studio code we then want to create a public int which we are going to call our currency now you can name this whatever you want to name your currency uh and we are going to set well we're just going to see via that but in most uh tower defense games you start off a little bit of money so you can actually buy your first turret so what we're going to do is we are going to set the currency equal to 100 at the start of the game this will give us 100 credits to actually spend in the shop and what we want to do is we want an event where we can add money to our um then we're going to want a public void and it's going to be called increase currency and we're just going to pass an integer called amount then we're just going to say currency is plus equal to this amount we're also going to set up a function called spend currency and pass in int amount we want to spend and then what we're going to do is we're just going to check if amount is less than or equal to our currency then we will buy item otherwise we'll just debug dot log you do not have enough to purchase this item obviously we want to swap this out for some sort of ui pop-up that tells them they're not able to buy but for now a debug log will work fine now inside of here we just want to say currency is minus equal to the amount we want to uh, buy we actually want to change this to a ball as well because we want to return a status saying if this was successful or false so if we are able to buy we will return true otherwise we will return false this will be able to allow us to tell whatever function calls this if it is a true or a false so next up we actually want to be able to call this from our different scripts so we want to go to our enemy script then what we want to do is go into the health script and inside of our where we destroy the enemy we are going to call um, our level manager dot main dot increase currency and then we're going to pass through a fixed amount now we're going to actually set a serialized field for each enemy called int and we're going to say um the currency worth and we'll just set this to something like let's say 50 and then we'll increase our currency by 50 every time we destroy an enemy now you'll probably want to tweak this a lot but for now this is fine now if we select our level manager and actually hit play on this game you'll see we start off with 100 and if we place a couple of turrets here and when the enemies start coming through you'll see that we should hopefully go up 50 points and there you go you can see the score is going up 50 points each time we destroy an enemy so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it in the next one we're going to add in ui to actually display our currency and also be able to buy stuff from a menu or a shop on the side which we will slide out using some cool animations but that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace out